of an exciting adventure as we dive into boundless realm of ideas. This year, our theme is Future Spectra. Ideas we believe are not just sparks, they are transformative catalysts that challenge norms, inspire change, and sculpt a brighter future for us all. In this competitive world, when it comes to so much work, when there's no validations, when there's jealousy, when there's competition, when there's no appreciation, a lot of people sit down and don't know where to go. And that's why we want, I wanted to want people to focus on how people should be doing this back home first so these women outside can stand out. So let's not snatch each other's crowns. Let's fix it for each other without telling the world. Thank you very much. My grandfather, a chess master, treated Monopoly like a grand chess match. Every roll of the dice was followed by a gleam of anticipation in his eye and a thoughtful pause. We'd spend hours after each game dissecting every choice, every strategy. With his sharp mind and strategic acumen, he turned each Monopoly game into a masterclass in decision making. As the game progressed, it became clear that rolling the dice was merely an entry point. The real game was in the decisions being made. After each roll, he would lean back in his chair, a twinkle in his eye, and say, it's not about the roll, it's about the move, and the ability to think many moves ahead. When was the last time you came to a fork in the road of your life? We all have moments in our life where we have to stop, and slow down and consider what we value most. Let me close by saying all of us will face many trials in our lives, but not everyone will stop, will step towards the harder ones. Taking the road less traveled is difficult. It's challenging, it's filled with friction, and often unpopular with those around you. It underscores the importance of resilience, determination, and positive change. It is a testament to the strength within all of us, but it will offer the path to a richer kind of fulfillment, the chance to make an impact in this world. And that's why I will always believe that the road less traveled is the only one worth taking. By the time you are 15, you are ripped away from your family, your extended members who you love so much, from the country you love so much. The reason why I'm standing in front of all of you today is because I didn't allow that trauma to get to me. In fact, I did the opposite. We don't know at any point when this trauma can rear its ugly head. But I simply ask you, to react with courage, resilience, and compassion. This energy takes the lead. Magic can happen. And I'm very happy to celebrate this today. And from a heart to a heart, I'm telling you, this is a pure accident, but I embraced it. I want you to embrace your failure if you've been there. And if you have a dream, just do it and be the next storyteller. I want to talk to you about a deeper, more substantial kind of bubbles, the ones that surround us and ones that sometimes influence our lives. The reason I like to use the word bubbles to describe those highly irrational phenomena is one, I'm not a very big fan of the word conspiracy. And two, someone once told me that bubbles is the only word in the English language that you can't look serious while you're saying.